So anyway, doctor, let, let's talk a little bit about what the CDC said yesterday. They issued a warning uh, to doctors across the nation saying to be on the lookout for a, a coronavirus-related disease in children. And we, we talked yesterday about the Lancet article that said, and I, I misspoke when I described it, there was a 30-fold increase, not 30 percent, but 30-fold right. increase in a Kawasaki-like disease that they found in an Italian province that was hit very hard by coronavirus. This is something that parents everywhere are kind of listening to. How big of a concern is, what, what does this mean? Well, look, this is a concern because I think that the, the accruing evidence is starting to show that there's a correlation between this syndrome and coronavirus, either active infection or it looks more like that, likely that it's at least sequelae. So you recover from the infection and then you develop this. The study in Italy, which I think you quoted uh, correctly yesterday, showed that in a town, um, they looked at the last five years, and in the 20 years leading up to the last month, they had, in the five years leading up to the last month, they had 20 cases of this condition, and in the last month, they had 10. And so clearly, um, you know, a preponderance of the cases happened in a very short period of time that coincided with when coronavirus was going through this town. The alert from uh, CDC really is the first authoritative statement from the federal government that correlates the syndrome with coronavirus. So they call it associated with coronavirus. And actually, they put out a case definition for the first time of what this syndrome is. And in that case definition, they say current or prior infection with coronavirus. Um, and they talk a lot about a cluster in the U.K. on a around April 26, late April, and now the clusters we're seeing in the United States. And so this might be a late sequelae where people recover, kids recover, and then they develop this syndrome. What we don't know, again, and we talked about this, is the denominator. How many kids have had coronavirus? Is it thousands or is it more likely tens or maybe even hundreds of thousands of kids? And this is a rare condition over a large denominator. And the other curiosity here is we haven't seen these reports coming out of Asia. So we see them coming out of Europe now. We're certainly seeing them coming out of the United States. We haven't seen this reporting coming out of Asia. It could be that they're missing it. Could be that kids are getting the infection at a lower rate there. Um, there could be other factors that we don't fully understand.